A big developing story here today. After a year like none other, Chicago Public Schools Chief Janice Jackson says she will leave her post when her contract expires this summer. She's one of the longer serving school CEOs in recent memory. WGN political reporter Taman Bradley is live at City Hall with the story. Ben and Lourdes, it was always Janice Jackson's dream to be the CPS CEO. She told people she wanted that job back in college. Now, after four years, she is leaving her post as the head of the nation's third largest school district. Cheers to a new school year. She's a CPS lifer whose journey began 40 years ago as a Head Start student. Today, Dr. Janice Jackson, a former social studies teacher, chief academic officer, district parent, and CEO, announced she's leaving. And it's with a full heart and a grateful heart that I am announcing that I have chosen not to renew my contract, which expires at the end of June. This job has been everything I dreamt of, and sometimes a little bit more than that. Jackson was first appointed CEO by former Mayor Rahm Emanuel. She presided over increasing graduation rates and an expansion of academic programming. But there was turbulence from a 2019 Chicago Teachers Union strike to an abuse scandal to last year's COVID-19 shutdown. And as I look back on what we've done, I am both proud and humbled and also a little tired, if I'm being honest. Jackson was well liked by parents, staff and city officials. It is a tremendous loss for our city. Her departure, along with the exit of the chief executive officer and chief operator officer, leaves the district without its top three officials. Mayor Lightfoot, in what sounded like a peace offer extended to the Chicago Teachers Union, discussed what comes next. Now it's a time to turn the page and begin the next leg of our journey. We will restore relationships that have been harmed by a painful legacy that includes closing 50 of our schools in a way that, in my view, disregarded and disempowered parents' voices. As Lightfoot begins a nationwide search for the new CEO, the CTU is raising concerns about the CPS shakeup. In a statement, the mass exodus of staffers from Mayor Lightfoot's CPS leadership team cannot be a deterrent to addressing the needs of our school communities, which have been exacerbated in this pandemic. We are hopeful the mayor can improve on her ability to work collaboratively and cohesively with others. Dr. Jackson has accepted an education fellowship and she says she does not want to run another school district, but she did joke she might consider running for school board if the city of Chicago ever moves to an elected school board. Live this afternoon from City Hall, Tamon Bradley, WGN.